The study recently published by the University of Southampton took a closer look at this so-called hot blob. It's 220 miles wide and is made of unusually hot rock below the Earth's crust. The university found that it's moving, albeit slowly, toward New York and is likely the reason the Appalachian Mountains have not eroded over time. So what is it and what will happen to New York when it arrives? We asked those questions on a now viral TikTok. 450,000 of you watched the video. 20,000 of you liked it and wanted to know more. So we thought we'd bring in an expert to break it down. Doug Prose is a geologist and host of a PBS show. Okay, Doug, what is this thing? What's the blob? Okay, so um, that's a pretty sensational <laughs> news story that I get to try to bring yeah. down to earth. Um, Actually, I'm going to bring it below the Earth's surface. And um, so the blob, I guess I'll start with what it's not. The blob is actually not gelatinous. It's actually not oozing. It's not actually going to someday, like, come up through the Earth's crust and ooze into maybe, like, the New York subway or something and take over the world or something like that. That's not going to happen because the blob is, is, is actually a, a hot rock. And the only way they know that it's there is because the temperature of this rock, which is in the mantle of the Earth, the mantle of the Earth is the second layer down under the Earth's crust. The Earth's crust is about 60 miles deep under, say, New York or the Appalachians, where right. the blob is. And it's, um, it's another 60 miles down. So it's just a hotter region of rock than the rock surrounding it. It's, it's actually made out of this, which is a piece of basalt, which is um, what the Earth's mantle is made out of. So then, so and, wait, Doug, uh, if it's made, if it's just solid rock and not uh, an oozing gelatinous substance, why is it right. moving? Okay, so there's actually a controversy about whether it's moving or not. So this new study um, is saying that, yes, the blob is moving, but actually what it appears to be doing um, is that it's kind of tracking along with the Earth's crust. So the Earth's crust is made out of plates. It's like there's tectonic plates on the Earth's crust. They move. And the whole North American plate where New York is and where the Appalachians are, where the whole United States is, is moving. It's mm -hmm. moving about one inch per year to the west. And so this, these blobs are kind of, tr they're tracking along at the, at the um, underneath part of the crust. They're, they're moving along uh, with the plate. So they're actually probably never going to detach from there and move under New York, which is, I don't know, is 125 miles away. So Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, let me ask you, they, they, they say that this blob is the reason the Appalachian Mountains have not eroded. What does that mean exactly? Is it somehow propping up the mountains? And if it did move toward New York in 10 million years, as the scientists right. in this latest study say it will do, what uh -huh. would that mean for the New York area? Okay, so um, so these blobs are pretty amazing. So they're, they're hotter than the surrounding rock. So they actually... All the, the heat that's in the mantle of the earth is trying to rise. It's trying to get out of the earth. The whole mantle, it's actually sort of circulating this heat, and it, which all originates in the core of the earth, which is the, actually the temperature of the core is the temperature of the, the surface of the sun. It's 10,000 degrees. So all this heat's trying to get out. So the blob, these blobs actually are can push up on the bottom of the crust. And that's what it appears is happening under the Appalachians. And so um, this actually- It's propping them the up. Appalachians. It's pushing up and it's it's trying to get out basically. Okay, um, well, and in fact- um, I'm not sure we has want it to. Out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the blob has actually erupted volcanoes, this very um, area here, but that was like 
80 million years ago, 90, 100 million years ago. So we don't have to worry about it erupting any new volcanoes anytime soon. Okay, Doug, you've given us something yeah. more to worry about. Now we're all worried the blob's going to escape. Uh, Doug <laughs> Pros, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Subscribe below and download our News Nation app right now on your phone, and you will get fact based, unbiased news for all Americans.